we talk often as holistic veterinarians and holistic medicine practitioners about food and nutrition. And food and nutrition are definitely the core foundation of health. And we talk about water, but not as much. So let's give an example of how important water is. The best example is for humans, we can survive, not very healthily, but we can at least survive for maybe 30 days without food. But we can't make it more than three days without water, and that's just bare bones survival. So from that perspective, water might be 10 times as important as food. What it really means is nutrition is the foundation of long-term health and wellness, but water is more important for your day-to-day -day survival. So what are your options for the types of water you can drink? There's so much we can talk about about water, but in this video, let's just talk about the different types of water and what they are. So first of all, there's tap water. Tap water is what comes from your local county or city government. It's called municipal sourcing. Well, most of it is terribly dirty. It's either in 100-year-old lead pipes that are leaching out heavy metals and they have collected sludge and slime and contaminants and parasites like Giardia and heavy metals and chemicals and who knows what. Or if you live in a newer community with newer pipes, there's plastic leaking into it and the water's just not freely flowing. It's sitting in a tube or a pipe. So tap water is bad for a lot of reasons. The other things that we hear about most often from holistic practitioners and chiropractors and such is that you should be drinking reverse osmosis or RO water or distilled water because they're clean and pure. And that's true, but let's talk about why you would or would not want to use the RO or distilled water. So first of all, distilled water is, is very basic. You put a pot of water on the stove and you boil it and you collect the steam that comes off of it because the steam is pure water and the steam cools back down and condenses or condensates, and then you have pure water without any contaminants or anything else in it, it's just water. And you can tell that because if you look at the pan after the water is all cooked out of it, there's a white film on it. That's all the minerals and contaminants that might be in there. Reverse osmosis is very similar. Reverse osmosis forces the water through a, a filter or a membrane, highly concentrated membrane that this kind of pulls out everything. So you have pretty pure water, and that's great. If you're trying to get all the toxins and chemicals out of your body or out of your environment because you're healing from cancer or chronic disease or something, then these pure waters really may be a good idea short term, but they're just not natural. In nature, we would drink spring water, and we're gonna have to go back several hundred years to talk about spring water the way it should be. There'd be a mountain stream, the water bubbling over the rocks and the pebbles, and it's in little eddies and currents and it's swirling around and there's fish in it and all these things. And it's fresh and it's cold and it's flowing. That's the way water is supposed to be. Okay, tap water, bottled water that you buy at the store, no matter how good it is or how clean of a spring water or reverse osmosis or distilled, they're stored in a container and they're not freely flowing and they're not oxygenated. When the water tumbles over rocks and things, it collects oxygen. That's why fish can survive in it. And that's why if you have a fish tank, you have to have a little bubbler that oxygenates it. Bottled water, stored water, water in the pipes, doesn't have any oxygen in it. Well, without oxygen, it changes the chemistry and it changes the bacteria that can be in it. Instead of living, healthy, natural bacteria that would be in running water, remember, nothing is supposed to be sterile. Our skin, our gut, our food, our water is supposed to have a healthy, normal population of bacteria in it. When you remove that healthy bacteria with reverse osmosis or distilling or the treatment they do to bottled water, you open up, you create a void, and nature doesn't like a void. Nature's gonna fill that void with bad bacteria. Just like if you take the oxygen out of the water, you're going to get anaerobic bacteria that are usually worse and cause more disease and more difficult to deal with than aerobic airborne bacteria. The other big thing about your municipal water source is if you don't have a clean mountain spring reservoir or big lake that you're drawing your water from or that your city or county is drawing the water from, and you're somewhere like here in South Florida, the drinking water is recycled because the groundwater here is contaminated with fertilizer and chemicals from all the grapefruits and orange and citrus growing and the forever chemicals, the PFAS, fluoride contaminated, polyfluorides, they're like Teflon that's in the flame retardant that's used on military bases. The groundwater is contaminated so most of the drinking water here in Florida is recycled wastewater. Well, what's in that? The municipality is gonna do RO or they're gonna do something to clean out as much as they can of all the bad bacteria. But often if they're not doing RO, which is an expensive process and most places aren't, you're still getting all the pharmaceutical 
chemicals, the pharmaceutical drugs, every drug or medication that we take as humans or our pets, well, for humans, it's urinated out, it goes in the wastewater, and that gets recycled. So they may be pulling all the bad bacteria out so you don't get sick from it, but you're still getting all the chemicals and drugs that you're drinking, you and your pet are drinking when you drink this water. And that's aside from the heavy metal contaminants and anything else that might be in the pipes. They're cleaning the water at the plant. But you put that water, even though they've taken the bacteria out of it, they put it back in these old pipes or these new pipes, and it could be collecting other bacteria. So there's just so much wrong with the way we drink water, just like there's so much wrong with the way we raise and eat food in this country. There's bottled spring water. There's only a few companies that really have clean, healthy spring water, like Mountain Valley is a brand I like. But again, it's not as well oxygenated because it's been sitting in a jar. Water's supposed to be moving. If we go back several hundred years, our water would have always been moving in a stream. And we don't have that anymore. So I don't have an answer for you in this video about what to feed your dog. But if you're looking for just long-term health, you want as clean and natural of a spring water as you can get. I drive back to Virginia once a month and fill up a bunch of bottles with spring water from the side of the mountain that I know is clean and pure in the way it's supposed to be. And most of us aren't going to do that. Let's talk real quickly about well water. If you live in a more rural area and you have well water, that may be cleaner as far as bacteria goes because it's not coming through the old pipes and it doesn't have the contaminated drugs in it. So it's better in that regard. If you're trying to avoid pharmaceutical drugs and heavy metal contamination from old city pipes, then your well water may be better and your RO and distilled water may be better for that perspective. But your well water is not ready to drink. Nature puts groundwater in the ground and it's not ready for us to drink until it bubbles up in a spring in a creek. Our ancestors wouldn't, they wouldn't have dug a well more than 10 or 15 feet deep. They wouldn't have dug, dug down hundreds of feet like most of our wells are. That water down there has too many minerals in it. That's why you have to put water softeners. It's too heavy in calcium. When the water comes to the surface naturally, it's got just the right amount of trace minerals in it and the right amount of bacteria and oxygen and flowing. So these are your options. I haven't given you any answers. I just want you to know the differences between the water. Spring water from the store is probably contaminated by plastic and from a dirty spring. Some companies like Mountain Valley have clean spring waters. Some places up in the mountains, high in the mountains, above where they've spread toxic things on the fields and cow pastures where the water's still clean, you might get some clean, healthy water, but that's getting more and more difficult to find. RO water and distilled water are clean, and they're good for your body if you're trying to detoxify, but in the long run, you're not getting the minerals and the bacteria balance you need from those things long term. Okay, thanks.